Hello, family of God. Uh, I'm here on YouTube. Um, I come to you to uh, share another dream I had on June 11, 2013. And uh, I'm going to pray uh, that um, that those listening, that God gives them wisdom, understanding, and discernment. And that uh, God revealed to you what this message is about. And if uh, uh, you don't understand, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, please uh, give us understanding and strength. Uh, give us revelation and knowledge uh, about your message. Uh, please reveal to us in this time, the time that we live in, this critical time. Uh, what you are saying to us and uh, reveal to them the interpretation of my dream and uh, as well as bless them in their relationship with you, Father God, and their family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my dream about a rainbow. I've never... I've had, it's been a long time. I've had a dream before about a rainbow, but not like this. And this was June 11, 2013. I was standing outside looking at an unusual rainbow in the sky. This rainbow was beautiful and rich in color. It was closed. Well, not closed. It was close, a uh, close to us. Um, at least it looked to be uh, very close enough for details. Um, many people were looking at this rainbow display, especially the saints, acknowledging how unique it was. This looked to be a place I've never been before. So um, this dream could be symbolic or um, it's whatever God has um, shown you and uh, ask him to uh, give you the truth. Uh, pray, pray to him for um, the Holy Spirit to guide you and tell the truth. Okay? I, although still inspired by the rainbow, I continued to go in the store. When I got in the store immediately, I heard a sound from the crowd of people that was frightening. Okay? Many people from all over the world, well, all over basically, it was like many people, made the sound of disappointment very loud, like, ah, you know. Um, I ran back outside to see what was going on immediately. And I too was at a surprise and amazement. My heart leaped to see a hole developing beside the big beautiful rainbow. There was a beautiful uh, rainbow and beside it, it was uh, beautiful light that opened up into the sky. Well, the clouds had opened up and this light had come through. And um, I too was at a surprise and amazement. My heart leaped to see a hole developing beside the big beautiful rainbow. The hole that came out of the sky in the midst of the clouds was brighter than the sun. And the showers of radiance, like if you think about the showers when you see rain coming down, this is the kind of radiance I was seeing come down out of the sky. I mean, like rain. Um, it was, I mean, the hole that came out of the sky in the midst of clouds was brighter than the sun. And showers of radiance could be seen. And everybody was looking. I began to pray heavily for my spiritual health. And I started giving praise and glory unto God Almighty, asking Him, please let me be found uh, accounted worthy. Okay, because uh, no, He has not appointed His saints to wrath. Okay. okay, with fear and trembling, I was thinking of the gathering of those that are ready of the saints, meaning the rapture. Meanwhile, I was back in the store crying. 
leading to others like this is your last chance we're close I mean the door is opening it's time to go people you know this is my last chance to be able to plead with, plead with you about giving your life to Christ I mean it's like I knew something is here and I know that Jesus is going to take us and I'm pleading to people and in the dream God had given me a, somehow a sense that you know um, there's no time for foolishness I mean I don't care it's like just as much as he's like just go out anywhere and just step to anyone boldly and tell them that the time is short that I am coming. I mean, this is what he had put in my spirit as I see in the dream and as I was knowing that the time was at hand. So I was crying and pleading to others about the coming of the Lord and I was asking many people if they would like to have Yeshua and um, in their hearts and have they given their lives to Christ. And some chose to give their life to Christ seriously, and others were undecided. But they agreed that the signs were evident, okay? So there are a lot of people that agree that we are in the end times, uh, but a large number chose to brush the opportunity off and mock and scorn. They thought it was just easier to keep marching or keep living on uh, or marching to the same beat of the world. They reject Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus. Even though the birth pains are high, meaning end time signs, and wonders and wars, and sexual perversion, and all these things, etc., as Matthew 24 tells of the signs that will happen to signify his coming. In this dream, I am blunt to strangers about their salvation. I cry for many who rejected his love. I then sit down with many believers who have come to Yeshua, Hashiach. We begin fellowship, and then after that, I come to a scene. Now, this was like um, pretty personal, but I don't mind sharing it. But it was like his message to me as well as others that are in the body of Christ and those that are not in the body to get on anybody, okay? But this is a message that maybe even others can benefit from, uh, you know, he said, uh, oh, okay, here I go. Uh, we begin the fellowship and then after that I come to a scene where I find a spot in my home that had old cookies. Okay, I don't understand why I saw them. You know, uh, cookies, you know, like something sweet or something good. But they were old. And other things I don't tend with anymore. But then I seen I was cleaning that old stuff out completely. You know, he had told me. You know, I heard his voice tell me this. In his dream while he was showing me this, he said, Why keep them? You are not tending with them anymore. You don't have this. You don't do this anymore. You don't have these things in your life anymore. So why keep them? And I was like, oh, I forgot to even have. So uh, if there's anything that's left in your life that you forgot or something that has not been cleansed or um, you haven't been delivered from, God is, he, you may have already been delivered from it, but uh, there's a residue that needs to be cleared out. It has to be, you know, just, it might even be a old music. It could be old books or. Uh, something of the occult laying around that used to be uh, entertained by you and now you have not for years uh, been dabbling or dealing with it and because you're cleansed and you have become the righteousness of God well this is my case here where he tells me personally that there are some things that I have that I don't tend with anymore get rid of so in this, uh, I mean, I thought maybe I could share this anyway. This was toward the end. This is at the end of the dream. I, uh, I saw a spot in my home that had old cookies and other things I don't tend with anymore. 
But then I seen I was cleaning that old stuff out completely. I forgot it was there. I cleaned it all out so I could be ready. Okay. And um, here are the references to the rainbow. Uh, Revelations 10.1 uh, and Genesis 9, 8 and 16. I find out this is a representation of the covenant he had with us. The rainbow. Okay. So check those verses out. And I hope you have a blessed day. And uh, if you have any loved ones, anybody that you want to be brought to Christ, um, and you need prayer, send me an inbox and I will lift him up in prayer. Okay. Well, have a blessed day. Bye.